Hi, I'm Sarah Steelman with Southwest Missouri Independent Magazine. Today our guest is Billy Long. He's running for Congress in the 7th District. We're going to be asking him some important questions about the issues that are facing all of us. Join us. How do you keep a free market free? Well, by just opening the, I mean, you have to have free trade to, you know, people, some people are worried about free trade, but there's things right now going on, like in China, they will ship, uh, or not China, I might have their own country, but they'll ship nails into Mexico, and all they do to get around the tariffs and things, all they'll do is repackage those nails down in Mexico, dump them out of the box they were made in China, put them in a box made you know, Mark made in Mexico, so it takes vigilance, I guess, is the best way to keep a free but market free. within the boundaries of the United States. I mean, what, you know, we argue that we, that the free market and capitalism is best for this country, and it has made us the greatest right, country sure. in the world. Yeah. But do you believe that it does take certain kinds of regulations to, to keep a free market free? Because otherwise you've got, like, what happened in the credit industry with people going you know, hog wild derivatives and all of these things, you, no transparency. How, where is, how do you go about making sure that there's enough regulations to make sure you keep it free, but not too much to stifle it? Well, I don't know exactly where you're going with that, but regulation, like I said, everything is so over-regulated now to regulate it, to make it more free. I'm not sure that I'm tracking with you well. Well, how do you keep transparency in the marketplace? How do you make sure people know, have information, uh, you know, the proper information to, 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 to make investments, to, to make choices between? Because part of what happened in the financial breakdown, the financial crisis, was that, you know, you had companies uh, selling derivatives to each other, making the market and and then buy, uh, well it's going to be a complicated process but i mean when they tried to crack down on that crack down on these investment banks i always use the analogy that you know when my mom was cold who got the sweater i got the sweater so i mean anytime you start talking regulation you make me nervous because uh they wanted to regulate and crack down on these investment banks mm -hmm. and what they did you talk to any banker of these small community banks around here any of the credit union people and they've just crippled them i mean they're going to through that regulation process, they're gonna. A lot of banks are gonna have to close. So on the free trade issue, I don't know. So there's too much. Too, well, I'm not talking free trade. I'm just talking. I, free I know, but market. I'm, I'm just talking about uh, the regulations. I mean, you got to be careful where you go because you start out at A and go into B, and so they end up at F somewhere. Mm -hmm. So anytime you know you try and regulate anything, whether it's the free markets or whatever, I don't. I guess I'm not tracking very good with you. Thank you for joining us today, and good luck. Thank you. You don't have long to go now. No, you don't.